Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a palette resurrection with the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. The Naked 2 was my first naked palette that I ever purchased. I purchased it back in 2015, so this palette is a little old. I'll go ahead and throw up a picture of my Instagram post from the day that I bought it. I was really excited. <laughs> and I couldn't wait to jump in and start using it. I'm bringing this back for a palette resurrection now because I feel like the market is definitely oversaturated with the warm neutrals, warm tone palettes, a lot of reds, a lot of oranges, and considering the fact that in my area at least it's still like in the dead of winter, like it's snowing again today. I find myself more so drawn to these cool toned colors than I do my warm tone palettes. While I have gotten a lot of use out of this palette, I haven't actually hit pan on anything yet. I have a huge dip in booty call right here, like I feel like I'm probably going to hit pan on that any day now. I do have a nice dip in foxy and then I have a dip in YDK, which I think is my favorite shade out of the entire palette. For my palette resurrection series, I'm going to be doing two looks per palette. I do want to make this a series and bring out some of my older palettes that I haven't gotten a whole lot of love recently. I'm only going to be doing two looks because I don't want it to get as long or, you know, as in-depth as my three looks one palette series, which I will throw the most recent palette that I've done in that series up in the cards. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like palette resurrection videos and you want to see any more in the future. And if you haven't, check out my eyeshadow palette collection up in the cards and let me know what palette do you want to see next on palette resurrection. The look that I'm wearing right now is entirely from the Naked 2 and it is look number one. So if you want to go ahead and see how I got this look, just keep watching. Welcome to look number one with the Naked 2 palette. So I've already done my entire face except for my eyes and my lips because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do and I learned my lesson about picking your lip color before you do your eyes. So I've already primed and I set the primer just with my face powder which I should have gone in and set it with Foxy which is the first shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my lid. So the one downside to this palette is that there's literally only three matte shades in here. So since there really are only three usable matte shades, I'm going to go ahead and jump in with the transition shade, which is called Tease. I'm just going to blend that into my transition and into my crease. And then I'm going to build up a little bit on the outer corner with Busted. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of the black shade, which is blackout, and just deepen up the outer corner just a little bit. I don't want it to be too smoky because I am going to work in this, but I am going to deepen it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go all over the lid with Pistol, which is this like dark silver gray right here. It's a shimmer too. I think it's going to look really nice. Okay, so I put Pistol all over the lid and then I just took a little bit of Verve, that lighter silver, and I just put it on the middle of the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on liner, mascara, and I'll be right back for the bottom lash line. Okay, so I have my liner and mascara on. I'm going to go ahead and just take Tease, that matte shade that we used, all over the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to use just on the outer third, I'm going to go in with Busted, that dark purple here on the end. I like how I said I didn't want this to get too smoky, and then it looks really smoky. So I just finished up the look with the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Toffee Talk. I don't know why I'm loving like these like mauve, like vampy lips, like as they're going into spring. I mean, spring is still a while off. It's snowing outside, so, but still. Like, I definitely miss the train on these because I love all these lip colors. So, anyway, that is the first look. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you for the second look. All right, guys, we are back for look number two. Like last time, no lip color, but the rest of my face is done. I primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in 
in what? In soft ochre and I set it using Foxy this time, the whole lid. So what I really want to do today is utilize some of these colors and then YDK. Because I remember YDK being like my favorite shade when I first used this palette. So I'm first going to go in with, let's try Shimmer in the Crease. You know, why not? Let's try it. Let's try it. Before I do that though, I am going to pack some translucent powder just in the areas where I tend to get a lot of fallout. Because if I'm going in with the glitter, then odds are I'm going to get some. Now I'm ready for whatever comes at me. Let's try fluffy first. So I'm going to use a fluffy brush and see how that works it into the crease. And if not, I'm going to move to a more dense and defined brush. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take booty call first. Tap that off. Throw that into my transition. Probably won't show up too much, but I just want to get a base going. Okay, next I'm going to take Chopper, which is the fourth shade right here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to swirl my brush, tap all the excess off, and try to bring that into my transition. Okay, we got a little definition. I see it. And it's not too glittery, actually. Once you, like, tap off a lot of the excess so I'm actually really liking that so far so next I'm gonna go ahead and take YDK and I'm gonna push that into the outer V and kind of deepen up the edge and I'm gonna take a stiffer brush I'm gonna go with the Sigma E25 and see how that goes Oh yeah, I'm getting so much fallout right there. <laughs> I'm so glad I put that translucent powder down. Okay, so it's not deepening up as much as I want it to, so I'm also gonna go in with Snake Bite, this like dark, dark copper in the middle. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take Half Baked, which is the gold right here, with a glitter glue, and I think I'm gonna foil it too, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. So that's the eyes so far. I'm really liking how it's turning out. I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the translucent powder, throw on some liner, mascara, curl my lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, liner is a little thicker than usual, but we're going with it. I used my regular liner, but I did set it with the blackout shade from the palette just to make it a little bit more matte and less messy looking. For the lower lash line, I'm going to jump in first with Chopper and just take that all over the lower lash line. This is a shimmer, so I don't know how it's going to go. Let's see. Okay, and then just because I went crazy with the liner, I might as well make this a little bit more smoky. So I'm going to take black out, the black shade. Just run that along the outer third and blend it into the liner. I'm just going to finish the look with a little bit of mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Length on the lower lashes. No. For my lip today, I'm taking the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Let's Cuddle. It's just an adorable name for a lipstick. And that is it for look number two.
Okay, so those are my two looks using the Naked 2 palette for this palette resurrection. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one was your favorite down below and if you have this palette. I hope this encourages you to pull out more palettes that you have might have forgotten about or just have in the back of your drawer just to get them a little bit more love. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you want to see any more palette resurrections in the future. And let me know down below what palette you want to see next. Thank you and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!